everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. Today is Father's Day. So we're going to learn a lesson about how God, our Heavenly Father, also loves and protects us as well as our earthly fathers. We're going to be doing a fun card for Father's Day, a great object lesson and finish off with a song. So let's go. Do you know how our dads are pretty big and pretty strong? Well, we're going to sing a song now about how God is pretty big and pretty strong as well. You ready to sing a song with me? All right, everyone stand up to your feet. We've got some actions with this song and let's sing. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do That's true My God is so big So strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do That's true The mountains are His The valleys are His The stars are His handiwork too My God is so big so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do That's true Let's sing it again, shall we? My God is so big So strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do That's true My God is so big So strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do that's true, the mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big. <coughs> I'm alright. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. That's true. As Jesus taught his followers about God, he shared with them the amazing truth that God is a loving Father who wants to bless his children. Jesus told them that their Heavenly Father wants to know them and have a relationship with them. Jesus explained to them that this special relationship is established and maintained through prayer. Jesus told his followers that when they pray, they should do it for God and not to be seen by others. Prayer is not a way to show off or make others think we are spiritual. Jesus explained that prayer is a conversation with God and we should do it someplace private where it is just us and God so that we can pay attention and not get distracted. Jesus said that using prayer as a way to get attention from others rather than to build a relationship with God was something that the Pharisees did. Jesus also warned his followers not to pray like unbelievers who repeat the same words over and over, thinking the power of prayer is in magic words. Instead, we should understand that our Father already knows what we need, and we simply need to ask him. Jesus then gave his followers an example of prayer to use. He began by saying, Our Father in heaven, May your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus told us to ask God to make his will be carried out as perfectly as it is in heaven so that we can experience the wonders and goodness of our Father in our day-to-day -day lives. Jesus continued his prayer, saying, Give us today the food we need, and forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Our loving Father not only wants us to experience His goodness, but He also wants to take care of us. From the food we need each day to the forgiveness of our sins, our Father will provide for our every need. Jesus finished His amazing example of prayer, saying, And don't let us give in to temptation, but rescue us, from the evil one. Jesus reminded his followers that our enemy, Satan, means to do us harm, 
and lead us away from following Christ. Our Father only wants good for us, and He will protect us from our enemy, giving us victory when we pray. After Jesus shared this amazing prayer, He encouraged His followers to practice what they pray. If we pray for forgiveness, then we must be willing to forgive those who have wronged us. Our Father wants us to grow up in our faith, which will allow us to become more like our Savior Jesus, who gave us a perfect example to follow. So, Father's Day is a day where we honour our dads, and our dads do an incredible job looking after us, having fun with us, and also protecting us. Did you know that God is also our Heavenly Father? So sometimes our earthly fathers are not perfect or sometimes we don't have an earthly father. But we always know as Christians that God is our Heavenly Father. G'day kids. Today's Bible verse is from 1 John 3.1. It says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Wow, but what does the word lavish mean? Lavish is just another way of saying that God wants to provide generously for us. And he does that. He wants to bless us because those who know him are called children of God. Just like a father wants to provide for his children. Well, this is your first Father's <laughs> Day. So happy Father's Day. Hey kids, isn't it cool that God considers us his children? And he likes to lavish us and give us lots of things. You might be like, whoa, cool. Does that mean I get to get away with everything? And does that mean he's going to give me everything? No, because God wants to protect us. If you wanted to run out on the street, would your parents let you do that? Why not? Because it's dangerous and our parents want to protect us. Just like God sometimes says no to us because he wants to protect us. I like to illustrate this point with an object lesson called Pop Goes My Heart. Right, so what you'll need for this object lesson is two balloons, some masking tape, a marker, and a pin. All right, so the first balloon, we're going to write on it, you. And the pin represents danger. So what's going to happen when I put the pin inside the balloon? Pop! <laughs> this time, we'll put you on it. And on this masking tape, we're going... Now when danger wants to come and into you here, the Father's love, God, protects us. Look what happens when I put the pin into the balloon. It doesn't pop. Father's love protects us from danger. Okay, we're going to do the craft now. We've got a really cool Father's Day card. I'll link the printable below. We'll just need some scissors to cut it out and we'll also need some colouring crayons. Alright, let's go! Okay, now we're done cutting it out. Now we just need to colour it. these hearts over and then there's a little line here we fold that one 
so that the hearts match. Like that. So we fold that one across and that one across. And then there's a cool little heart with a moustache and you pull it open and it says Happy Father's Day. All right, kids, we just wanted to say goodbye together and say a big Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And also Charlotte wanted to say Happy Father's Day to her dad. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> all right, kids, see you next time. Bye.